Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today, uh, apparently, we are gonna talk about food. Let's talk about how to make this ravioli 3D model in Rhino 6. Are you ready? Let's get started. That's starting from the top view and we would like to use the surface planner tool and we would like to use a rectangular plane and that's starting with the center and type it zero holding your shift so you can get a square so this is the surface we have we are going to use to trim it off and also showing us the boulder and we are going to draw a line snapping into the end point to the end point and with this line we wanted to making a lot of a triangle so we need to know like how many sections that we wanted to have i'm going to use divide and divide them into the 16 section and let's go ahead to measure make sure that your point it's check on the all snap and we want to measure from this point to this point and it show that this is 2.44 millimeters so i'm going to select everybody and making a copy control c and control v and i want to move it 2.44 down so we'll have something like that after we have all of this i'm going to using the line tool and i'm just gonna snapping with all the point right here so it kind of gives us a really nice triangle there all right so the next thing is we need to repeating that to all the edges as you can see i intentionally not having this uh, very last one so it won't be overlapping curve there let's using the rotate tool and make sure the copy equal yes over there typing in the zero and holding your shift so every 90 degree we want to make a copy there once we have that let's go ahead to select everybody and join them so this is like a really sharp angle there we want to give in a little fillet the quicker way to do is using the fillet corners and I'm going to give it like one. Radius one is gonna give us really nice rounded edges there. Let's go ahead to hiding those here and we will have something like this. If you turn on a control point on this, you only have four point to edit. We need to have a lot more point to edit. So let's go ahead to rebuild this surface. And we wanted to do U for 20, V for 20, and degree into 3 on both of them. And make sure the degree 3 is super, super important here. Let's go ahead to click OK. All right. So first of all, we need to find all the edges. Simply, we are going to use the trim tool using this one, uh, cutting tool. And then we want to trim the surface around it so we will get the basic shape there let's take a look on all four view and on my top view i want to make sure it's in the wireframe so it's easier for you to choose so let's go ahead to turn on the control point and we want to pick it up something like this and with this let's go ahead to move it up a little bit so you will have that kind of a bump over there now this might appear to be too machine looking so in the real life we need to make them a little bit bumpier so i'm going to kind of a tweak it by selecting the point that i have maybe here i wanted them to go higher so it's up to you how you like to play with it to make them look more realistic as if we turn on a render view you can see this is not just like a straight line and you might want to also keep editing maybe instead of selecting a square you can selecting one point to pull up and down so they don't look too machine like all right so for the demonstration i'm going to stop tweaking here you can also tuck in a little bit more if you want to feel like this need to tuck in a little bit more but you don't have enough control point what you can do is you can insert control point and we can toggle it to get somewhere here for example so now you have all this point that you can pick let's pick it up from the front view and we can moving in a little bit like this so then you will have it talking like that or you ac actually can simply to move it out as a bump then you can see it's caving in on the bottom so whichever way that works for you 
Once we adjust the surface into the way that we like to make it look more organic and more nature, we need to create in the thickness of this surface. So let's go ahead to use the uh, offset surface. On the offset surface, if you pick solid equal yes, you're going to have a straight um, straight edges and it doesn't look natural. So I'm going to say solid equal no and I'm going to offset in this case for 0.8 millimeter and we'll have something like this. Okay, so those two surfaces, I need to create in the surface in between those two. So the command that we are going to use, it's called blend surface and make sure the chain age here, auto chain is equal yes before you click on it and we click on both top and bottom and hit enter. And then um, you can adjust over here if you feel like this is too bumpy. You can move the slider to get it uh, less bumpy. So I'm just going to click OK here. And let's go ahead to join all of them. All right. So this is the one on the top. And we also need the one on the bottom. So I simply just go into mirror to the other side and type it zero for my axis and then we'll get something like that. So now I may want to have the one on the top just slightly smaller. It look more natural when you have the render looking like this. Okay, so you can see both top and the bottom. Okay, so to make it more man-made looking, I'm going to click both top and the bottom and use the commands called cage edit. We want to pick up the bounding box and we want to click OK to align to the wall. Now on the X, I would like to have 10 of them. The Y, I want to have 10 of them. And the Z, let's keep it into four. So we will have a box like that. So now it's a good time for us to looking at some, maybe the edges right here. I'm wanting them to go in just a little bit. And maybe I want to pick up on the top and kind of using the rotating tool to move it up like that. So you can tweak it into the way that you like and it's more close to the nature. So I'm going to leave it, it to you for you to edit even more. And once you like it, you can go ahead to delete this bounding box and that will be our ravioli today. For the members, I'm going to show you how to make this farfalle pasta. So don't forget to check it out, this farfalle pasta, if you have a membership. And welcome to join the membership by click on the join button under the video. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and comment and share my video. Thank you and see you next.